I wanted to take a little bit of time to show you how you can customize the Pioneer theme for Moodle. Now we, we've been working on this for uh, a little while and um, one of the things that sets this theme apart from other themes out there is we utilize this full width header image. Um, as you can see, um, we have a custom login form here so that you can log in, um, you can create a new account, you can, um, uh, if you forget your password, those links are built right into this custom form here. Now, this is the standard Moodle login. Now, if you force logins and you want to see the more traditional Moodle login, We've also styled this page and you can determine how it uh, appears. You can have items below here. This is very plain. It's just a demo site. Um, and what I wanted to do was show you how you can make this image uh, increase the height, change the image, and everything that's involved with the images in the Pioneer theme because this allows teachers to personalize their individual courses. So. In the uh, Appearance Pioneer General Settings page right here, you'll notice this front page header image padding. So I'm just going to jump this up to 175 pixels and we'll scroll down to the bottom, click Save Changes, and we'll come over here and refresh this. And as you can see, the image is now wider. You can utilize this setting right here to either increase or decrease um, how much padding is applied above and below the form, the login form here. So I just change it to 10 pixels and we'll scroll down to the bottom and let's refresh. And now you can see it's very much smaller. So this is the header image padding on the front page. Now, once you're inside and you're in a course, this is the default header height. So you can see right here, it's 140 pixels, um, quite small. If you go to different courses, you can see um, it's not uh, very wide. You can control that. So if you wanted it to be even less, once you're in the course, you can do so. And let's refresh this. And this is going to get much shorter. You can see how that works. So if you didn't want to utilize the image once you're in a particular course, you can do so. Or you can make it quite large. And I'll refresh this. And, and you can see you now have some spatial um, space right here. Now, as a teacher, you can click Edit Settings for your course. This is where you fill out your course information. And you have this Course Summaries files. So I'm going to take, and uh, this is a picture of our one of our hallways. And now you can see that picture that I just uploaded is now the picture for my course. Here's the main site. And when I go into my course, I now have my own photo here. That's, that's one of the main features of Pioneer. And I just wanted to point out that um, this is right here. Allow teachers to upload their header image. The site admin can turn this on or off. And if you turn it off, obviously um, it will no longer utilize the um, teacher image. It'll switch it over to just the default. And uh, that way the site admin can say, no, we're going to use one image for the entire course or entire uh, system. And with the click of a button, you can restore the ability to the teacher to upload their own photo. So that's a little bit about how um, you can customize the Pioneer theme and let teachers personalize their individual courses. 
Now I should point out there's one other setting for uh, padding and this is header image padding in course activities and you can see it's 30 pixels. That is what you're seeing right here. So from the course once they actually go into an individual activity it will minimize the image so that the student can focus on the content. These are all customizable from the, the site admin and uh, it really gives the teachers a lot of creativity in personalizing their courses. Um, sometimes an image can make all the difference in the world for a teacher to be able to personalize their Moodle course.